What's up guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown Live. This is episode number 69 on the channel. And uh, we're, we're going to be using the same PDC Sand Offense team. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty excited about today's episode, to be honest. Um, this is actually during the Super Bowl, but seeing as I don't really care that much about the NFL, um, you know, I'm willing to kind of dismiss the fact that the Super Bowl is going on in order to get some Pokemon in, because I kind of had the urge to record. Um, so hopefully, uh, we can go ahead and get some good ladder games. Um, I, I've been playing a lot of o OU today, trying to get back into the swing of things, as I really only used to play OU, uh, but now I don't really know what tier I should, like, main, I guess. Um, I, I made this team today with Brendan, which is actually really fun. Um, I, I may use it at some point in the future. Uh, and, and if you guys want, I can just, like, paste it in the description below. It's this, uh, Pursuit Mega Metagross team, uh, that basically... Uh, allows me to switch in versus Lotties and uh, pursuit them, freeing up for Rock Bosch, Lando, and Specs Keldeo, but anyway, looking at this guy's team, we have full stall. I'm gonna go rage for a second, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. Um, so, I really have no way to be stalled, to be honest. Um, except trying to wear it down with Specs Keldeo, and uh, this core right here is super annoying, so... Uh, I think right here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and lead with, um, we're going to lead with Keldeo. Um, I kind of want to see what he's going to lead with right here. Uh, lag check. Alright, so, um, he ends up leading Quagsire, which, you know, is nice because I can just fire off a, a pretty free Specs Hydro Pump. Um, I want to see what he, his main switch into this is. Um, I could fire off a Scald if I really, really wanted to and try to get a burn on whatever comes in. Um, which is actually looking like a more attractive option, but seeing as I clicked Hydro Pump first, I'm going for that. Um, even though he went into Gothic- oh, great. Off to a great start. Um, if this is Trick Scarf and he just kills me with a Psy Shock, then that's garbage. But, um, hopefully he's Trick Specs. Okay. That's garbage. L like, that is absolute trash. <laughs> um... I can't win. Like, I, I don't think there's actually any... Actually, no. We can do this. We can do this. Um, we're gonna try. We, we are certainly gonna try. Um, um, Specs. <laughs> um, yeah, he thought it was Scarf, so he, he was about to get blown back. Um, anyway, right here, I'm gonna go straight away for the T-Bolt. Um, I'm actually going to calc this because I'm curious to see how much that would have done. Fairly certain it would have knocked him out, um, or at least done a significant amount. Um, OU, all attacker. Specs, cool. Versus um, Goth, Fatel. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so Hydro is a 25% chance to KO. Uh, which is unfortunate as he goes for the side shock again. Why am I doing this to myself? Uh, I'm clicking T Wave. I'm just kind of throwing this game away. Um, you know what, uh, well, GG, can't do much now, um, I need like a, f a para, full para there or something, so, um, I'm just gonna go forfeit that one, you know, it's unfortunate that, uh, we had to hit stall in our first battle, but, you know, uh, it's whatever, there's not a whole lot I can do about that, uh, that's the ladder for you, so, um, I'll probably just pause it until we get another, considering we've had a lot of dead time so far, so I'm gonna do that, I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back. Uh, this guy's a pretty cool looking team that uh, gets beat pretty hard by sand offense, so um, I think uh, he's either going to lead with that or that. And uh, I think my best lead in any scenario is going to be Thunderous, um, because I highly doubt he's going to pull out the Stone Edge turn 1. Um, if he does end up leading with his Landorus, um, I like how he turns the timer on and then showdown lags to where it's like... Okay, there we go. Uh, he ends up leading with Star Raptor right here. Um, if he's banned, he's dead. Um, if he's, but I'm gonna T wave him anyway because I'm bad and I'm gonna rely on the Para full Para to bail me out right here. Um, even though Thunderous could buy, could be semi useful, and uh, that shows me that that is not his Scarfer. Um, I'm assuming this is rocks for him, uh, seeing as I don't think he would want to waste a move slot on Mega Metagross for Stealth Rocks. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be rocks, and it is, but uh, he will not get his rocks up this match, which is very nice. So that means he's Scarf Keldeo and uh, Banded Star Raptor, so that is good enough. Um, 
And then he has his defensive core, Umbreon and uh, Umbreon and Tentacruel. Um, although, getting Landorus out of the way is really nice, because that means if I get to plus two versus any one of his mons, it's over. Like, open up the body bag. Um, but I'm just... And go into Star After. Um, hey, Physical Keldeo. Um, I'm just gonna go for the Secret Sword though. It's a uh, fairly straightforward play. I could try to make the double the Lottie here, predicting um, Tentacruel, but I do want damage off on this Umbreon. And uh, he actually ends up going out into his own Keldeo right here, which is fun. Um, because I had to beat him. Did I click Titar? If I click Titar, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed in myself. Um, because, of course, on Showdown, once you click a move, you can't take it back. Um, regardless. Thunderous may just actually win me the game. <laughs> uh, he is Scarf Kel. Um, I'm assuming he'll have to go for the Secret Sword right here, seeing as he doesn't want to sack this. And uh, it's actually very useful versus my team, because it helps him outpace stuff like my Metagross. Um, if he goes for the Icy Wind here, then bravo. You did more than I thought you would do. But... Regardless, I still think he's going to go for the Secret Sword right here, which is why I'm going into my Latios. Uh, he ends up going for the Secret That's Spex. Is he not running a Scarf, or is that just Scarf? I could have had those two flip flops. We'll see. Um, right here, I'm going to make the aggressive double back out into my Keldeo. And the main reason I'm going to do this is because I think his Umbreon is incoming right here. Uh, the more damage I can get off, uh, the better. And, uh, you know, if I can get please double thank you <laughs> um so right here i'm actually gonna make uh actually no there's no sense in me making a, another aggressive double i'm just gonna click secret sword right here uh because if i can wear down this kind of cool enough uh, i can force it to come in a lot and uh like no duh but what i want to do is i want to force tentacruel out after it takes yeah that did 48 percent um, so he can't switch in too many times, and his whole team really has limited switch in opportunities uh, versus uh, Specs Keldeo, so that's something that I will try to take advantage of throughout the match. Um, what is he doing right here? Uh, he just goes for the knockoff, which is actually a really good play on his part, because um, it makes Keldeo a lot harder for, like, I can't just auto win by clicking Secret Sword. Um, I still have to click it right here. Come here, dog. Come on. My dog is interrupting my recording again, but it's okay. Come on, buddy. Come on. Hey. Come here. All right, anyway, back to the Pokemans. Um, now I think his best switch in may just be Metagross. If he goes into Metagross, I'm very, very tempted to sack my Keldeo. Um, just because uh, I don't really have a whole lot of safe switch ins to Metagross other than my own Metagross, which is like, eh, like very iffy. But, actually, um, since I'm Air Balloon, I wonder if he's Hammer Arm. So he's going to go for Zen Headbutt right here. So I'm going to go out into T-Tar. And, uh, wait, he'll just go for um, Meteor Mash, won't he? That's disappointing. <laughs> um, so he ends up going for the Zen Headbutt right there. And what I'm trying to do is pivot around to get my Thunderous in for, like, relatively free. Um, I may just also sack my Latios right here, and I know that's kind of weird sacking a switch into Keldeo when he's when he still has like a Specs Keldeo at a respectable amount, not like not like 50 or 60 percent. But uh, he actually ends up going into Star Raptor right here, which is fine by me because now I get a free T wave off. Never mind. I went out a Latios. I thought I went out a Thunderous. That would have been a lot cooler, but unfortunately, that's just not not the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Um, so I end up dropping a Drake over his Choice Bandit Star Raptor, so he has no Scarfer, uh, which is fine by me. Um, he may be a Jilligross. E, I don't like that. <laughs> just because he's not running a Scarfer, or he may just not have a Scarfer, that's entirely possible. Although, um, I, I think Scarfs, Scarves, rather, have been necessitated a little bit by uh, the introduction of all these like base 110 Megas, and that like you actually need Scarf a scarf mon on pretty much every team to pick off stuff like this but i end up doing about 21 percent with that draco which is disappointing he just kills me with a medium attack race nailed it uh it's fine though because i can just go straight out into my excadrill and uh, i can click eq right here 
Uh, I don't think he can hurt me if he's carrying Earthquake, um, but I'm not too keen on finding that out. So I'm going to click Earthquake right here. Uh, like, what I want to do is SD and just run through the entirety of his team, um, but I don't really think I have that opportunity right now. And, uh, you know, we'll see what he switches into right here. I'm assuming he's just going to go out into his Umbreon, in which case I'm just going to switch to Keldeo. I don't think I have to make a whole lot of predictions around that. Um, I could also SD with Drill, uh, but he goes out into Umbreon right here. I do 34%, which is not great, but uh, Leftovers is going to be cancelled out. So I'm going to go out into Keldeo right here, uh, just because Keldeo does uh, threaten his Umbreon a lot. Did, I just like pulled Star after out of thin air. Can I do that again? Is it in, Okay, so he made his move because it's like highlighting instead of grabbing. That's a fun thing that I think I learned. I don't know. Uh, he goes for the Wish right here though, which is fine. Um, I force him not to pass it really into, into anything. I'm just going to click Secret Sword because his Keldea will die if it switches back in. Um, and I don't think he wants to take a Scald uh, because on the off chance that I burn him, the battle's over. Um, he j Yeah, so he just ends up going for the Protect, which is fine. Um, do I Scald trying to get the burn? I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm trying to figure out when I can get an SD up versus his team, because that's really all I need. Um, we're going to go ahead and calc foul play uh, versus Excadrill. Uh, hopefully that will give us Umbreon. He's UU, you, yeah, you special, whatever. Um, versus Excadrill. Uh, we want OU Sand Rush, Jolly, Air Balloon. Um, you're at plus two. Foul play will kill you. That's disappointing. Um, so he just ends up going for the foul play there as I go for the Scald. I'm just going to click Secret Sword right here. And uh, as long as I can weaken this Umbreon to around, like, what did he do last time? Like 30%? That's going to be hard. Uh, but I can just click Secret Sword right here. Keldeo does apply a lot of offensive pressure versus his team. Uh, and he just lets me do, like, 50-some percent right there. So, you know, that was probably a, a bad play in hindsight on his part. Because uh, I can just click Scald right here. Pick up a KO versus either versus Umbreon or uh, Risk of the Burn versus Metagross. And I really hope my audio isn't messing up like it did in the LBA battle. If you guys haven't checked those out yet, you should. Um, another one will be up this Saturday. I like uploading them on the weekends, but anyway, um, I suppose now would be as good of a time as ever to talk about the comment question of the video, and uh, I'm not going to make this one Pokemon related, I'm going to try to veer away from them being Pokemon related, just because I feel that that sometimes gets a little boring, um, especially if... Like, because sometimes I know you're, like, watching a video, and then you're like, okay, like, I'm Pokemon'd out for now. Like, I, I totally get that, um, but, hmm, let me see. I think the common question of the video is going to be, um, what con what game console do you own? And, uh, do you, like, what, what do you think of your respective game console? I currently own a, uh, PS3, um... So, yeah, what, what what consoles do you guys have and what games do you play on those? Of course, I have uh, my 3DS, and I have uh, Oras for that, and I have X and Y, and uh, I thought about getting Smash for a long time, but I didn't. Also, Smash at Apex went on over the weekend. That was pretty eventful um, with, what, Leffen? Yeah, Leffen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was certainly a thing for discussion. That was pretty funny. Anyway. Um, that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode of Pokemon Showdown Live. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, uh, which was talked about earlier, which is what game consoles do you own? What games do you play on them? And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.